I click on a uh, countdown clock over here that lets them know how much time they have left to respond. Students have a look at this and they make their choice. So if we had a student who said, well, I think the best thing to do is to write out definitions, that's what I was taught, then they would respond by simply clicking number two. The students on their smartphone would have done the same kind of thing. If we had another student in the class who said, well, I think it's uh, memorizing, that's uh, the best thing to do, then they would click number one. So my name is Philip Smith. I'm professor of psychology here at the University of Prince Edward Island. I've been using clickers in my introductory psychology class especially for the last 10 years or so. My name is Emily Gallant. I'm in second year at UPEI and I'm in the psychology program. I use the clicker technology in my first year psychology class. I really enjoyed them. I found that it kind of took away the intimidation of being in such a huge class, especially coming from a smaller high school. I thought that it really encouraged interacting in the class. It definitely improved attendance rates and just it keeps your interest throughout the entire lecture. You really, you know that there's going to be a question coming after the topic, so you pay more attention so that you can answer the question properly. Basic kind of idea is that the professor creates a clicker question about the material, then we can immediately have a look at a graph that shows how the class as a whole responded. Then the most beneficial part, I think, of using clickers is that we ask students to engage with a couple of their neighbors in a discussion about the question and the responses. That kind of attention to the concepts behind the decisions that students make help deepen the level of learning and help enhance retention of material. Your attendance points are added on through the use of the clicker so the professor could see who was there who wasn't. Even if you got the answer wrong you still got the points for being in attendance and using the clickers. And did that motivate you to go to class? I think so. Just knowing that at the end of the year I could have a couple of extra percentages added on to my mark really, it really did give me some motivation to get out of bed in the mornings. So purchasing a subscription of the clicker app to use on your smartphone for a year would cost $31. Purchasing a handheld clicker device uh, that you can use across years or could sell to another student costs $51. And so as a professor, you need to make sure that you're going to be taking clickers seriously and incorporating them into your classes so that it's a useful investment for students. Students who don't regularly attend classes or maybe who weren't so organized and forgot the clickers, I really think those are the only people who wouldn't enjoy them that much. That can mean that the professor talks less. That's probably not a bad thing for student learning if we have professors talking a bit less and students thinking and engaging with the material a bit more.